So here's the thing. Filming at night can give you a very cool and cinematic look. But if you don't know what you're doing, if you're not sure about the settings you're using, it can just give you a bunch of noisy, unusable clips. So in this video, we're gonna cover my personal settings that I like to use on my Sony a7S III when shooting on low light situation. And hopefully you can learn a thing or two along the way. <clears throat> there we go. Bit of a different idea. Right, if you guys are new here, my name is Luca and I'm a filmmaker based in Bali, Indonesia. And pretty much what I do here is creating projects and video campaigns for clients and brands from all around the world. And it is a pretty special place and I'm pretty lucky to be calling Indonesia home. So in these videos, I share my experiences and my knowledge of everything I learned along the way. So if you do find anything interesting or if you find any knowledge, it would mean the world to me if you like and subscribe. So a few days ago, me and my girlfriend Mel went out to meet this friend of mine, Noel, who has a very cool bike here in Bali. Basically the idea was to meet up at this Buddhist temple and then go to a road nearby and pretty much just shoot with the reflections of the rain and the lights and just create some cool kind of videos it wasn't anything for brands it wasn't story driven it was literally just capture cool cinematic looking style footage so the thing with shooting in low light that i find very hard is that obviously you have to expose correctly and i always find that exposing correctly in low light and at night is actually very very tricky especially when shooting on a sony ss3 and i shoot 100 percent of my footage in s3 which means you have to overexpose to one and a half to two stops which is very hard in low light because you don't really have any light so it's just you're just gonna end up pushing your ISO and that is probably the main factor if you're shooting in S log 3 you have to respect this rule and you need to expose properly otherwise your footage is just gonna look grainy and it's just not gonna come out nicely so it doesn't matter if you push your ISO just expose correctly to one and a half to two stops so as you probably know by now the Sony A7S III it is a beast of a camera in low light and has a dual base ISO, which means that in S-Log3, you have the chance of shooting a 640 ISO, which is the base ISO, which is gonna have the less noise. And then you can go up to 12,800, which is the second base ISO, which means that between pretty much three, 4,000 until 10,000, it's gonna get noisier and noisier and noisier. And then at 12,800, it's gone. I'm not sure of the technicality of this actual dual base ISO, but I know it works. So when it's a very low light situation, I rather step up to 12,800 and then if it's too bright, just put an ND filter rather than shoot at three or 4,000 ISO. That's gonna give me a more noisy image in the end. And every time I actually use this function from Sony, I am blown away by this camera that can actually see in the dark. I, I, I don't understand. So I, I can't see things and this camera can. I did shoot some of these scenes at 60 frames per second, but let's be honest, keep that shutter speed down, keep that frame rate down, and shoot at 24 frames per second when you shoot it in low light. It is the most cinematic look anyways, and you don't really need those crazy slow motion unless it's a crazy slow motion shot. So keep that frame rate down to 24, which is gonna allow you to keep your shutter speed at one over 50th, which is gonna allow a lot more light into your sensor, which it's gonna have a much less noisy image. Since we're assuming that you don't have any lights, you don't have any light apart from what is around you, all you gotta do is learn how to play with lights well. So what I do, for example, I picked this Buddhist temple because I knew it has a bunch of different lights, a bunch of different colors that can build a bit of an ambience around the subject being normal. So, Remember to don't just shoot in pitch black, obviously, unless you have lights. So remember to find location and shoot in location to have a pretty decent overall mood and light. And also you can utilize these lights to create bokeh, which is this, this beautiful smooth uh, effects that light do when using a professional camera. And when zooming to 35 to 40 millimeters onwards, you're just gonna start seeing this beautiful looking bokeh and the longer your focal length, the, the tighter you're gonna get, the, the more shaped, the more sharp, even the bulkhead's gonna get. I'm not a great fan of that. Uh, usually I stick to around 40 
to 50 millimeter those are like my favorite actually focal length when shooting anything that has to be this cinematic look i think 40 millimeter has to be my my favorite so these were my tips when shooting at night and in a low light situation so if you did find any of this helpful again like and subscribe and turn on that bell notification and i'll see you guys next week in the next video thank you for the support and i'm gonna roll away